Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my weekly forecast for July 25th, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button above to see our new videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And my new um, technical analysis of the crypto market is also available on my Ethereum platform and on Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, last week we went from $104 per barrel all the way down towards a 50 moving average down here at $90.5 a barrel. Then we rallied quite significantly in the beginning of the week up the way $101 and ended up at $95, give or take, a barrel. So market has definitely turned, but we have not broken significant barrier which is basically the 50 moving average last time we tested it it took like roughly four to five weeks before we rallied back to the upside and if you basically build a base here around the 50 moving average like we did the last time also we kind of did it right here and then we may see a market that basically goes back to the upside there are things uh, of course supply problems are uh, the things are basically driving this market as as there is just less oil in the world at the at this current stage due to the war in the, in uh, Eastern Europe. Um, negative for this market is that the world economy is slowing down. So central banks are basically putting their uh, feet on the brakes for the economy in order to to get inflation under control, and of, that, of course that is uh, causing a lot of demand destruction. So if we get Europe and you know, Europe probably is already in a recession and the United States and Asia they go into recession, then this market will most likely drop below the 50 moving average and heading significantly lower. Probably 200 moving average, which is at trading at the 62 point, $62 barrel at this current stage. So uh, yes, if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the casting is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, and quite a lot of room to the downside. But it is to be seen, get building a base here that we may rally up towards the uh, previous highs of roughly $125, and breaking below here could open the door to the 200 moving average down here at $62 a barrel. So let's look at natural gas and this market just absolutely exploded to the upside. It broke every single barrier that was here in the Bitcoin retracement. So if you look at this, we went through the 38.250 and also the 61.8 and now it kind of looks like we are heading to all the way up towards the 78.6 which is up here at uh, 8.7 uh, dollars. Yes, uh, really, really impressive recovery. Uh, kind of V-shaped recovery. We have, we kind of saw that back here as well when we broke down and then rallied back to the upside. And we found support the last time here where we built a base at the 50 moving average. And here we kind of just tested it twice. Instead of here we tested it like over um, roughly two months. So, yeah, that's to be seen. If we break the breakdown from here, which uh, we probably could, but there's still a lot of room for the upside in the, in the RSI, and other technical indicators are also turning around. Stochastic is very bullish, RSI is bullish, and MACD is still bearish, but it's uh, turning around and we're mostly across the second line to the upside. Probably this is gonna look what we're going to look at going forward. Uh, but breaking above the previous size here, then we are both the market that going significantly higher. It has been really volatile for day trading. It's uh, probably a, a, a fantastic market, but it is extremely, extremely risky. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button above, and see you.